I'm out here looking at our bees at our location in Saratoga and I'm very sad to report that we are experiencing a very severe loss in, in our hives. We have five hives out here. We had six. And Alan, the owner of these hives, and a prominent expert on bees, spoke to me yesterday about the condition of the hives. And we see the, the last one there has got some activity, and the one on the end has some activity. But these last three hives, sadly, are dead. Six months ago, these hives were doing quite well. And last year, there was an abundant amount of honey produced from these hives. But there's a, a colony collapse problem that many people have been aware of for a long, long time, many years now. But this particular year seems to have gotten considerably worse. I asked Alan what his, uh, what his his number of hives were last year, how many he had, and he indicated that he had a hundred hives located in different areas throughout the Santa Clara Valley. We've got five of them here. He's got about uh, 15 or 20 locations where he keeps his hives. So he has a, a nice uh, variety of, of types of honey being developed from different areas. Some areas are closer to fruit trees, some areas are, are closer to fields of wildflowers, things like that. But in our particular area, I was very happy that our hives were doing well and I thought we avoided the colony collapse problem. But uh, on inspecting these hives, we opened them up and these first three hives here are infested with a insect known as the hive beetle. Now I asked uh, Alan if that was what was causing the, the collapse and what was um, the problem. He says that, that a healthy hive can combat the hive beetle, but once the hive starts to decline, then the hive beetle moves in and it's a secondary uh, problem that, that's causing the, the hive to go downhill. Now the, I asked him what he believes the initial problem is or the or the primary problem, and, and a lot of people are, are referring to a problem known as uh, the, there's a, a mite called the Varroa mite. Uh, I'm not too familiar with it, but apparently it's, it's quite prevalent and throughout our whole country and actually throughout the world, the Varroa mite is, is uh, a, a significant problem. So this year, he's down to 30 hives from a high of 100 last year down to 30. That's a 70% loss. I also asked him how other beekeepers are doing, and he said uh, consistently across the board and throughout the world, we are experiencing the severe losses in hives. Now there's a number of problems associated with our hives, but there's also um, a really significant need we have so many of our crops. Um, in California here, the almond industry is almost entirely dependent upon hives being transported in and set out for a period of time to pollinate the, the almond trees. So with a shortage of hives to help pollinate, the, the almond industry is, is very likely going to suffer and we're going to see either a, a significant decline in the production of almonds or um, possibly, uh, I, I believe we'll see an increase in the cost of almonds. But if this continues, where are we going? What, what's the future going to be like? I mean, there's, there's a lot of fear in the world about what could happen if the bee population did dramatically decrease, but also, What's going to happen if we don't figure out how to stop this? I mean, climate change is one thing, but we have all these other associated factors, and each little piece of the puzzle, in this case, a loss of bees, is just adding to the, the potential problems that we're we going to be facing in future years. So, 
I don't see this as very good news. I, I see it as being a big problem. Um, you know, I, I love having these bees here. I love having the, the honey that we get from it. But I see a much bigger picture and a much bigger problem that we need to address and we need to address it soon. Uh, the scientists need to really focus on this problem because this is, a, this is an irreparable problem if it, if it goes, goes south.